Okay, so what we have here is the programming cable. Okay, for the GM350 radio Motorola. Okay. So we have a diode. It's a signal diode, 1N4148. Okay, this is a simple network cable. I cut in half. Okay, so the anode is connected to this orange wire solid. This is the ground pin here. That's connected to the blue and white striped wire. Okay. The anode of this diode is connected to the RX pin and the cathode is connected to the TX pin. And that should be that should be what you need to know to get this built. Okay, so what do we know about this radio? This is a Motorola GM350. Okay, so this is ground. Okay, so we connected the ground wire to the ground pin of this battery. Okay, we connected the plus side. I connected the plus side. To the plus pin. Okay, so that's how it looks. When I plug the wire in, it doesn't do anything. Got our connection here. Okay. So I want to say you have to run this command here. sudo chmod 777-devttyusb0. Okay, that's my serial port. I plugged it into the USB port. Okay, that's fine. Now you need to go to Windows 95. Right? You need to load Windows 95 into your virtual box. Settings. Serial ports. You see here? Host device. We're using the real serial port. Okay, and we put USB 0 in there. That's the one we're using. Which we've given user permissions to it. execute. And then you click OK. We're going to start it. OK. <clears throat> it programmed. You can go to Radio Info. OK, it says all about it. OK, maybe you're able to upgrade. Maybe not. Who knows? So. You go to edit per radio. Here's your master settings. Volume, when it turns on, does it beep? When you make the volume go up or down, does it beep? Uh, power up, when's the last channel? When you power it on, it turns to the last channel channel spacing, deviation, right? This is interesting if you're in Germany. 
so this icon here, the square, you can use call, uh, the call function. Okay, and that will give you the tone to open the repeater. And uh, then the A and B buttons, right? Okay, that's fine. So now we're gonna go to per channel. This is a detailed overview of what's going on here. Okay, so look at how this is. An error has occurred in your program. Okay, well it's screwed up. So now you have to restart the program. Very helpful. Okay, we're gonna read from the radio again. There's something glitching up with this PL tone. Right, I go to the master overview here. PL tone. Not sure why, but for me, uh, it's crashing. Okay. Oops. I hit reading from the radio. So it's going to cancel my changes. That's fine. We're going to go back to the overview. Okay. We're going to disable this PL and we're going to set it on this one. See if it glitches out again. Okay. I'm going to save my work. Okay, and then we're going to go to the master channel editing. Okay, one, two, three, let's see if it crashes. Sure did. Okay, so there's something glitching up here. I'm not sure what it is, but it still works enough to program your radio. So I hope that was helpful. Maybe it's this code plug maybe I need to erase everything and start over maybe it's the software maybe it's the, the version I downloaded so just maintain your uh, program right and you should be all right hopefully but uh, good luck